What's up, YouTube? <laughs> you guys know it has been a minute. Apparently, I forgot how to even set up my camera. Okay. There we go. So, <laughs> I'm drinking my coffee right now. I am using the Cinnamon Dolce Starbucks K-Cup Level 1 Caramel Latte. And then my fancy little coffee frother that gives it a nice little foam on top. But I am just going to show you guys kind of a day in the life today. Show you guys my meals, that kind of stuff. It has been a while and I guess I can just start the video with... I mean there's not really like a huge explanation as to why. But basically I feel like I was trying too hard to get like a video out like every other day or every two days and then whenever school started back I was like I can't do this like I have to study I have just so much stuff you guys know pops up whenever you start school and I finally realized like that I don't have to post every other day like I can do one good video a week that gives you guys value and like I just think I push myself too hard sometimes and then I end up doing nothing because I get overwhelmed if that makes sense um but I don't want to be done with YouTube I actually really enjoy providing like good videos and I want to do more than just like full days of eating for you guys so that you get more value out of my channel so that's where I've been nothing big happened I just was trying to be like a perfectionist and post like every other day and it wasn't working so I just stopped and then I was like wait that's really dumb why don't you just post like once a week so I'm gonna post when I can, but I want to provide you guys a lot of value. Um, I came home this weekend, and this video is just kind of kind of be like a day in the life. But comment below any ideas you guys have. I just started my cut, so I'm thinking like um, some videos on you know like easy tips or very practical tips for fat loss. Um, maybe like some meal prep type stuff, um, stuff about eating out. If you guys have literally any ideas, go ahead and comment them below. But I am happy to be back. I'm sorry that I suck and I fail at YouTube. But I'm really gonna try because, and I know I've said this before, but I'm trying to not be such a perfectionist and I'm actually gonna make a full video probably on that too, the things I've been like changing in my life lately um, that have been making a big difference in like my productivity and just all that kind of stuff. So. I don't want to talk for too long. Love you guys. And I don't know where this video is going to go for sure yet, but we will see. Also taking my microfactor which is a complete nutrient pack and my full mega which is a fish oil I take both of these with breakfast every day so that's gonna be breakfast for today I just have whoop, some egg white oats and some protein coffee and then I'll show you guys like what I'm taking to my workout but like I said before I have started my cut now so I'll talk a little bit more about that later so yeah I don't have like my full days of eating you aren't gonna be like what the heck Sydney like I can't even eat what you're eating because you eat every second of the day no not anymore um, my cut has started and I've already done like two carb drops I think um, but I'll talk more about that later I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then pack up my stuff for the gym Okay, so I just have this set up so I can show you guys really quick. So I'm taking this for pre-workout. This is the First Form Alpha Cree HD. It's a non-stimulant pre-workout. This is what I usually take because I drink my coffee in the mornings and I'm pretty caffeine sensitive. So I like just a non-pre. This one has five grams of creatine and one gram of beta alanine. Um, so I still get a lot of benefits from it and it tastes really good. So that's what I'm taking pre. And then post-workout, I am just taking my formula one this is a quick digesting whey protein isolate i'm taking in chocolate milkshake and then i'm doing a fourth a scoop of ignition which is just like a glycogen powder um these two together are what i always take post-workout 
and I will I always will be putting my free shipping link for first form products if you do want to check them out in my is it called description yeah description box it's been a while you guys um and comment below if you ever have any questions um yeah so I'm going to drink my pre head to the gym and I think we're doing legs so it should be a good one okay friends workout is done sorry you can't see me I don't really know where to put my camera but we did like a 10 rounds of two deadlifts at like 90% um, superset with lat pull downs and then a bunch of just like accessory hamstring work. It was a really good workout. Um, and now I'm drinking my post-workout stack. I have, I mean, I already showed you guys. It's just the formula one and ignition and I'm gonna head home. Actually, I'm gonna stop at the grocery store, get some food and then head home and I will see you guys then. Sorry, you can't see my face. All right, so I'm going to make lunch now. I'm not gonna like film the whole thing of me making it because this meal has like tons of steps, but I'm just gonna show you guys what all goes into it and then I'll show you the finished product. So here we go. So I have been having this lunch every day for probably the past two weeks. So one thing I like to do whenever I start a cutting phase or a fat loss phase, whatever, when I'm in a caloric deficit, I like to add volume foods. So like putting lots of shredded lettuce in my salads. Um, these little Joseph's flatbreads have amazing macros. Um, and I feel like I'm eating just a lot with this meal, but it's not super calorie dense. So anyways, I'm gonna be doing a salad with 50-50 blend, get my dark greens in, shredded lettuce for volume. I'm using this Bolt House Farms Creamy Caesar yogurt dressing. I'm gonna do some edamame hummus. Um, I like this one, and then I like the roasted red pepper, the Sabra, whatever brand. And then I'm gonna put some of these snap pea crisps in there. And then for these, I make, cut them up into little squares and broil them in the oven for like a minute on each side. It kind of depends how strong your oven is, but just till they're like a little bit brown. And then, but watch them, because they will turn black really quick. <laughs> And then I have some crock pot barbecue chicken that is already prepped and I will top my little chips that I make with that and a creamy Swiss laughing cow or creamy garlic and herb. This isn't a Swiss one. So pro tip whenever you are trying to be in a caloric deficit, lose some fat, choose foods that are going to fill you up. Um, if I ate the same way that I did whenever I was bulking, just like lots of carbs that kind of go through me really quick and don't really fill me up I would just kind of be hungry all the time um, so I just choose nutrient dense foods like I switch out you guys will see for my dinner tonight but instead of sweet potatoes I'll do butternut squash because it's the same type of thing but I can get more out of it for less carbs if that makes sense um, so yeah I'm gonna make this up and I'll show you guys the finished product all right so here we have it here's my big salad I put it in this because it's like really big. Um, and then my flatbread barbecue chicken and laughing cow cheese. All right, so I'm about to eat this and I just kind of talked about it, but I think my number one tip for anybody who is looking to lose a little bit of fat and be in a caloric deficit is volume foods. Um, and by that, you're going to have to eat nutrient dense, giving your body all the micronutrients, big salads, cauliflower rice, um, butternut squash, all those kinds of things that are super high in micronutrients, but also not super high in calories. Um, and this isn't because one food's better than the other. It can just help you feel more full, more satisfied throughout the day. So that would be my number one tip. And my top three volume foods are cauliflower rice, shredded lettuce, and I love butternut squash. I don't even know if you would call it a volume food. I just feel like you can eat a lot of it and it reminds me of sweet potatoes, but it's not. So I think that might be my third one. And then I love these Joseph's flatbread things because they like you can make them into little chips and they're like barely any carbs. Um, so yeah, that's my top tip, I think probably. And then drink lots of water. I'm drinking a gallon and a half a day right now, I think. I don't like have a set goal. I at least get a gallon and then I usually go over that. So anyways, I'm gonna eat this and then catch up with you guys probably at my next meal. I'm This is probably just kinda be like a day in the life, full day of eating kind of thing. And then I am like brainstorming lots of ideas for YouTube videos to come. So like I said, comment below if you think of anything. 
And while I'm here, be sure to like and subscribe if you are enjoying this video and you want to see more. Okay, bye. Okay, it's about two o'clock and I'm literally starving, so I'm having a snack. I'm gonna have one caramel rice cake with some Betsy's Best cashew butter. This is the cardamom, focus, <laughs> cardamom and chia seed flavor. This is my favorite flavor. Yes, it is very expensive, but I still buy it like every time I run out. Um, so I'm just gonna have this right now and then I'll make dinner probably around like 5.30 because I'm freaking hungry today. Okay, so for dinner, I'm cooking for, are you sure you don't want to be in the video? Okay. I'm <laughs> cooking for my cousin and then my mom's about to be home. But we're just doing some wild caught salmon with rosemary and lemon. And then I have some butternut squash <laughs> in the oven. And then we're doing asparagus and some basmati rice. And that's going to be dinner. But I'll show you guys it at the end. Smile. <laughs> All right, so now I'm taking my greens. I just do my greens. BCAs, I use the apple juice ones just for flavor. And then glutamine for recovery and gut health. And I just mix all these up in like a big shaker. And I've been taking these after dinner every night. Probably won't put it on there. Why do you do the ugliest angle? Of <laughs> it's like you're doing it down and I need to stand on my like Joke, she kept giggling. She has a cute little giggle. She has a cute little personality. Mm -hmm. She's a funny <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm about to make my mug cake. And this is all that goes into it, but I'll just put up like a full description of how to make it after I show you guys. But it has sugar free jello, baking soda, cocoa powder. PB Fit, level one protein, and almond milk. And then I top it with this legendary foods and Cool Whip. Oh, very sexy. What's up you guys? It is now the next day. It is Saturday morning. Um, sorry, I didn't get to like talk as much yesterday as I would have liked to. Um, you, my cousin was in town, you guys saw. Um, so we kind of just like made dinner and hung out. But hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video, kind of seeing my day. Today, I think I'm just going, I did like abs and some cardio at the gym. And my brother has a baseball game, so I'm gonna go watch that. And then I think me and my mom are gonna get dinner. But I'm going to, in this vlog here, I kind of just wanted this to just be like a chill, day in the life slash eating vlog just to kind of get back into youtube um so like i said before be sure to comment below anything that you guys want to see i do have some ideas that i think you guys will enjoy but i also am always open to y'all's ideas even if it has nothing to do with like fitness just comment them below um and if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and that's about it um i don't want to like sit here and ramble for no reason so hopefully, even though that was kind of a random vlog, you guys still enjoyed it. And I will fill you guys in on more details on my cut soon um, so that you can know kind of like my plan, what I plan to do after, that kind of thing. So be on the lookout for that. And I hope you guys have a great day or night whenever I post this. And I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.